I'm Rafe McLean, I'm a registered architect and passive house designer. And just recently, two years ago, I had the opportunity to design a house um, for my own family. One of the unique things about the, um, this house is the site and how steep it is. Um, when we first came across the site, no one wanted to build on it. And we put together a vision for the project quite early on, on how to build on the site. As a passive house designer and an architect, I knew the costs of passive house building. So um, we had to make things simple to make it cost effective. Um, the features in the house, um, the exposed um, rafters, exposed joists, um, not too many windows, but windows to frame, frame the view, and generally a, a playfulness around colour selections, cabinetry placement, and the entry to the house was it's quite unique compared to other houses. What I found as an architect, I was designing houses that weren't performing very well. So I was quite um, curious to um, find a, a method of designing better houses or buildings. And Passive House stacked up quite quickly because it was um, scientifically driven, physics driven, and it was yeah, basically all numbers. So um, it made sense. So as an architect, um, I was very keen to uh, marry architecture thinking and this um, passive house thinking and bring them together and um, create architecture that um, was energy efficient and very comfortable to be in. So that's been my goal for a number of years now. I think the passive house movement in New Zealand is, um, is getting bigger. Um, I, I've seen every client that comes into the studio wants a passive house, but whether they can afford it is the crux of the project. But in this project, the Kofi House, I've demonstrated that it is affordable to build to passive house standard. And um, it's been really important for me to do this project for um, telling clients my experience. And I can actually you know, have the figures and construction numbers to show them you know, that it is possible. Mm -hmm.